The goal of this video is to go over what you need to know when considering a 15-year mortgage. Welcome to Keeping Mortgages Real, where we provide clear mortgage information so you can make better financial decisions. And if you need a pre-approval in Maryland, Virginia, or D.C., or just have questions mortgage-related or looking into a refi, just let us know. We're at 3easysteps.me, just like it sounds, 3easysteps.me. Now, when you're looking at a 15-year mortgage, there's five things you want to focus on or be aware of. And if you consider all five of these in total, you'll make a good decision for yourself. Okay, so first thing to know and be aware of is that the 15-year mortgage typically has 0.25 to 0.5% lower interest rate. Um, of note, the 20-year mortgage and 30-year mortgage are almost always identical in terms of rates. To get a lower rate, if you're shrinking the term of your mortgage, the 15 years, which you'd probably need to go to. And again, the 15-year typically has an interest rate about 0.25 to 0.5% lower than the 30-year fixed. The second thing to keep in mind is that the payment for a 15-year mortgage is higher than the payment for a 30-year mortgage for the same principal amount. What's going on is that you're paying the principal off faster, which drives up the monthly payment. Now, it's true that that is partially offset by the lower interest, but the net effect is still a notably higher payment for the 15 versus the 30. Uh, just for an example is for a $300,000 mortgage, a 15-year mortgage would be $720 a month, approximately higher in payment than for a 30-year mortgage. The third thing to keep in mind or consider is where else could you put your money? Now, we're going to talk a little theory and a little practicality. So let's hit all of that within this topic of where else could you put your money? Basically, if you went to a 15-year versus a 30-year, you're saving some on interest, but you're increasing your payment by, let's use an example, $700 a month. Think where else could you put that $700 a month? Do you have an uncle in Texas who's earning 30% on his money in the oil business? Well, you know, by saving a little on interest, you're skipping the ability to earn 30% somewhere else. Of course, that's a made up example and doesn't exist, but you get the idea. Maybe you can invest it in a mutual fund. Would you get a bigger return in the mutual fund or paying off the mortgage earlier? That's the theoretical answer. You know, optimizing your money, you put your money where it gets the highest return you know, maybe not paying down the mortgage and putting it towards a mutual fund. The practical answer is bluntly, I like a lower mortgage. I sleep better at night. So there's nothing wrong with deciding, hey, I hear that theoretical, it's better to invest it somewhere else, but I just feel better paying off my mortgage faster. That's totally okay. The reason I'm bringing this up is to make it a conscious, intentional choice on where to put your money. You know, be aware you have other options and make sure by putting it towards a mortgage, that's really what works best with your goals and plans. Before going to the last two points about a 15 year mortgage, again, if you have any questions about mortgages or need a pre-approval in Maryland, Virginia, or DC, always feel free to reach out at 3easysteps.me. Really happy to help in any way we can. The fourth thing to keep in mind when looking at a 15 year mortgage is don't just focus on is the payment comfortable now, but look at how the payment could impact you down the road. A good friend of mine was looking at a refinance and he easily could have done a 15 year mortgage where he is. But he said, Paul, I have two daughters in high school right now. I don't know where they're going to go to college. So I'm going to do a 30 year and that way it keeps my minimum obligation that I'm signing up for lower to allow you know greater flexibility down the road in case they uh, select a one university over the other. Or for example, another person might be looking at purchasing additional, additional properties down the road. And by having a lower minimum obligation, it would increase their buying power down the road. So think short-term and long-term when looking at the 15-year. Don't just look at whether the payment's comfortable today. And then finally, when in terms of wanting to pay down your mortgage faster, know that you have flexibility to do so with a 30-year mortgage as well as a 15-year mortgage. And what I mean by that is a 15-year mortgage sets the payment so you have to pay the mortgage off in 15 years. A 30-year mortgage sets the payment to pay off the mortgage in 30 years, but you can pay it faster if you want. So in the instance of my friend with the two daughters in, co in high school, he actually went with a 30-year mortgage, but he paid it off as if it was a 15 he just made extra payments every month. So you can work with your lender to pay off your loan as fast as there's no prepayment penalties with conventional loans. So um, if you do want to pay off your loan faster, but we like the flexibility of not having to, 
a 30 year mortgage works really well because you can pay it off faster, but you don't have to. Well, I hope this was helpful. And if you have questions about 15 year mortgages or anything mortgage related, we're always around at 3easysteps.me. Uh, until next video, hope you have a great day and see you soon.